Hey guys, what's up? It's Clay Ranger 143 here along with EAS. <laughs> Come on, we got a speed run. <laughs> <laughs> we got a speed run. Benji got 33. <laughs> oh my god. We're speed running this shit. Got to go. <laughs> okay. Okay, so yeah, I've been given a challenge by both of these people to review this in under 45 minutes. So Okay, it's under 45 minutes right now, so, um, yeah. To tell you the truth, I wasn't expecting this, but, uh, yeah. We finally got this thing. What? I impulse bought it. You, you, you did. Because Nicholas was like, oh, it goes off for AM, FM, and I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna get the only one well, left on eBay, because why not? And then well, you used a credit card. It was 80 bucks. To be honest, to be honest, I mean... Anybody who hears, ooh, it goes off for AMFM. It's instant clickbait. Like, yes. Yes, it is. Just like. But. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I got the ASI. The, the, yeah, the, the ASI, ASI and all exists. that. Okay, just loading up the intro because why the hell not? But, um. Anyways, so. Yeah, why don't we just speed run this? Because in this episode, we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty, and I'm gonna do it as fast as I can. I got 43. 50, 51 seconds, so yeah, let's get to it, and in this episode of Radio Reviews, we're going to be taking a look at the successor to the 365 CRS, and that is the unit in Bearcat BC370 CRS. That's her walking stick. <laughs> She's gonna go beat the shit out of my car. <laughs> <laughs> Your poor cross track. Anyways, okay, we are here with the unit in Bearcat BC370 CRS, and it activates for AM, FM, and weather. Yes. And scanner frequencies. Yes, that's right. You heard me right. This thing not only activates for weather scanner, but it also activates for AM, FM. Who heard of a unit in scanner like this? Who has ever heard of a scanner like this that activates for AM FM alerts. And it has I just realized that it said season ten with sparkles. With sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> well is it it has sparkles on it. That's glorious. Well it does! You saw it. Yes. Anyways. Also that has the uh, old unit and sirens for watch and advisory and warning. Superior. Superior. Yes. Superior. Like the 365 that, that thing only goes on for 1050 hertz. I activated Stupid. it. Stupid. It only has one siren. I don't know why I got it, man. <laughs> it only has one <laughs> siren. One damn siren, and that's it. But yeah. So. My God. Impulse purchase. Yep. Just like that. <laughs> he frantically PayPal'd me like 80 bucks. <laughs> so I could pay for it, and his mom wouldn't find out that we went to Iowa. Sorry, Mom, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah, the BC370 CRS, as you can see, let's take a quick glance at it. At first glance, it looks like a BC365. The only difference is with that one is that the BC365 CRS is a black version of this, and then this is kind of like a gray, like a space gray color. Oh my god. Among Us! <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of like a space gray color with black buttons, a black faceplate with orange backlights for two displays. Yes, this thing has two displays. One for the time and the other for like the scanner frequencies, weather frequencies, AM, FM All stuff. All other functions. Yeah. And, Honestly, uh, that's how it should be. Fun fact, um, it, it has a... Uh, 
This thing actually has three displays, technically. Technically, yep. because you have both these two displays, which are digital, and then the small one is dot matrix. So, yeah, which technically... You can barely see. Yeah, but you can see it on camera enough just to see it, but... Yeah. Technically, it has three displays. Um, it has a squelch and volume button, or yeah. knob, also, which are... Also, time, it is atomic time, too. Oh, sweet. I don't know how you get it to, like, activate an atomic time, but... I think you gotta, like... Tuned to a certain station, but yeah. Um, but yeah, the Bearcat is right here. The Bearcat logo, Uniden BC370 CRS All Hazard NOAA Weather Radio. These five buttons are for the type of scanner band you want to receive, or the um, codes that you want. Yeah. On weather and uh, memory for AM FM. Right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Point zero E for the buttons. Up, down, and then you have the mode switch right here. The snooze button, which also controls the backlight, and the power button, which makes a very, very nice scanner sound. It's literally the same thing as any other scanner, but... I um, realized how stupid it looks from the side. What? Just look at how dumb it looks. <laughs> <laughs> It looks it's like the a same, roof tile. It's the like, same thing with the 365. Yeah. Five. Well, yeah. The, okay, the first thing I thought of was a banana. Yeah, it's yeah, in the it's, shape of a banana. Because it's literally so curved. What the fuck, you did? <laughs> what are you that, thinking? This, this thing, the AM radio antenna, is literally jerry-rigged. Possibly by this guy. Yeah, because when it came with... Uh, when I got it, it had a zip tie in the wires place. What? Yeah. Huh? That doesn't work, Jim. It doesn't. It doesn't work, Jimbo! Imagine using a zip tie as an antenna. Yeah. <laughs> not racist, we're not racist. Oh my god, um... <laughs> anyways... <coughs> she's just face palming like... <laughs> she's like, you're stupid. You're um, stupid. Yeah, um, the stupid. antenna, like on any other scanner, is removable, even though this is an aftermarket antenna. The same thing with the BC-365 CRS. I actually have the original antenna for the 365, I just didn't bring it because it's too big. Well, you, well uh, this is aftermarket and it actually fits in better with the radio because of the color of the antenna. It's yeah. literally black okay, and chrome. So with the original antenna, literally, so on this, you know, you have the notch so it locks into place. Yeah, the, the BNC the notch. The original is made of plastic and it just spins. It just like what? It 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 gets into place by friction. So it's basically the the a similar structure compared to that of Holly's BC two four eight CLT, the cow. Yeah, similar antenna to that. Bruh. It's really dumb, and I'm glad I got these. Honestly, I prefer them over the stock antenna. Dude, wouldn't anybody prefer them over the stock antenna honestly, that has that type of input? It's shorter and gets the same antenna, too, I can uh, get same a reception too. Mount so. for a fucking Uniden scanner for my truck. What? Well, goddamn. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, the antenna, as I've said, is removable and it can latch back into place. Um, on the back, you have the option for external alerts right here. AM radio antenna, you have the 12 volt adapter, you have the headphone jack and whatever the hell this piece of tape I is. I tried taking that off and then it started doing that stupid sticker shit where like the residue stays on it. So I was just like, it's staying on there. <laughs> um, it has battery backup, for obviously. Hours. Yeah. Um, and as usual, we get this handy little notification on the bottom of the radio that says, warning, modification of this device to receive cellular radio telephone signals is prohibited under federal FCC rules and federal law. You it can't become like a cell you phone. You were reading the side effects of a medication. <laughs> <laughs> May cause obscene blood farting. <laughs> side effects may include nausea, vomiting, blurred vision, loss and of death. muscle control, and death. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Practicing this radio may cause stroke, heart attack, and death. <laughs> <laughs> it may also it may also cause constipation from the constant self activation of the AM FM tuning. Yup. But, uh, yeah, why don't we get into the first feature, and that would be the button beeps. They sound the same on every other scanner, but we're gonna do it anyway! I'm still angry at Nicholas for buying that white version one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Nicholas. I was this close to getting it. <laughs> She's serious, I was man. this close to getting it. Like, I hit buy now, and I was like, there's an error. <laughs> that was me with the red on 259, right? What? Or the red. The red 12 259. Basically yeah. a 522 without the, the capability of I, charging. It was in my shopping cart and I hit purchase and then Recom got it. 
pain. Massive pain from both of you, I feel bad. At least you have the money to afford radios. Get a job, bitch. I'm trying. Not hard enough. Be nice. Bruh. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, this thing has the capability to activate with AM FM alerts, so uh, yeah, but the first thing we're gonna get into is the button beeps, so let's get into that. I tried looking up Midland WR100 and my dumbass put unit in WR100. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh my goodness. We're just combining. But, uh, yeah. Let's just get to it. Um, the button beeps on the Uniden Bearcat BC370 CRS. Um. Oh, right. <laughs> God, it's to turn it on just to hear the button. Um, hang on, let me... Turn off squelch. It's, and, uh, it's nice. it looks hmm? like a fucking typewriter. It does. Like just. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hang on. Let me go to a. And then that one for the error. And then this one to power it off. Same as any other Uniden scanner. Thanks, Uniden. They're trying to be... Uh... They really only did different button beeps and siren shit for the WX500 and 100. They couldn't be bothered. Dude, the 500... <laughs> yeah, you already know what it sounds like. It's just uh, uh, a special 100. Ew, what the fuck is that? What the hell is that? Ew. Wait a minute. That looks what? like a turd. A what? fresh turd. Is that a unit in? What? Let me see. What model is the Marine radio. Oh, I'm no wonder. Surprised. Why are Marines... Okay, can we... Quick sidetrack while you have 33 minutes left. Why do Marine radios always look ugly as shit? They do. They look ugly as fuck. They honestly do. They really do. I will never get one. Well, uh, they're yeah. ugly. Well, well, don't don't get one. You, plus, you don't, you live close to the sea. You may get special marine warnings. But oh, we do get. I do get special marine warnings. Yeah, but you don't live out to sea, do, do you? Go out. To, yeah. Did you just Lake say Michigan we live, is a sea. Did you just say we live by the sea? <laughs> like, no, I said close to it. Close to it. Oh shit. Well, well, you get special marine warnings. Yeah. Yeah, we do. So it's technically a sea, right? <laughs> Special marine shit. Logic that logic makes no sense. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> we got like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the button beeps are just basically the same as any unit in scanner. So yeah, let's get to the siren test. And for that, we need the FM well, transmitter. The test, but yeah, we'll do it illegally. <laughs> well, uh, well, this thing is actually legal. Yeah. No, so no. yeah. Everyone's like, mm, is it legal? I'm like, no. We it's allowed. <laughs> it's it's a quarter watt of power. Exactly. It gets like a five foot range. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and get to the sirens. Okay. The sirens. <laughs> On the fucking BC370 CRS. So let's go to AMFM and uh, power it on. And we're gonna tune to. Um... Oh, wait. It's on memory mode. You have to yeah. direct and then. Alright, 88.1. Alright, it's on 88.1. And we're gonna activate it for some alerts. So let's do it with administrative message first. How cool is that? Where the fuck's my nine It's at the You took it with you. You took it with you. <laughs> um, let's do a, uh... Let's do a... What kind of watch can we do? Tornado watch. Alright, 
Yeah, now for the big daddy siren. <laughs> the warning. Oh, big chungus. You and your fucking DMO, stop. Stop! <laughs> stop with the notification! <laughs> That's a beautiful siren. Mm -hmm. It's the sixteen thirty A, B, C, or D. D. You guys are. You guys. I don't remember bringing my 991. I saw it. Okay. Well, it's not here, so it's okay. It's a brain. Yeah, it's a hash brown. But yeah, those are the sirens on it. But um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like a hash brown. But, uh, yeah. So, McDonald's hash McDonald's. brown. McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, the, red, the red stuff is the spicy stuff on the logo. It's the pepper. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, uh oh. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> the dead solar link is just sitting in shame. It's lurking. It's like Michael, I well, will eat your toes one day. <laughs> 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 you, you have to sacrifice, you have to put it in a, a fucking... At least I reviewed that. Yeah, at least you reviewed it. But anyways, speaking of review, why don't we get into the next feature, and uh, yeah, why don't we just, for a quick second, even though we just demonstrated, we need to talk about how this thing can activate for AMFM because that is a pretty unique feature. If okay. You shut it off. It goes into standby, and when there is no message, it shows a little eyeball saying that it's like scanning the frequency, looking for. Tones. That's what this radio is constantly doing. Constantly doing. You can't shut it off, which is kind of uh, sometimes. But um. Yeah, it's okay. Better but than nothing. <laughs> this is basically Uniden's take on the the freaking WX two sixty eight, because that has same, and it activates for AM FM. So, this thing is literally the new WX-268. What year in did a it way. come out? The WX-268? Oh, that. This, I think it came out in 2017? And they already stopped production of it. Yeah. What the hell are you doing? Um, do you have the manual for this? No. Actually, yes, I do, but it's at... Uh... Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me check. Because I was going to say, maybe there's a date in the manual or something. It this looks like a toy. Yeah, no, it didn't. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, it's made by Midland. It did not come with the manual. RIP! I think it was 2017. If it was another date than that, but... Google it, but... Yeah, other than that, this thing literally has so many good features about activation. It's awesome. It activates through AM, FM, weather, and scanner frequencies. This is literally the top dog scanner, and these things are rare, right? Because they don't From make my them. Understanding, yeah, they're pretty. Yeah, rare. you can't find these that much anymore because you didn't stop production after two years, I mean, which is probably, stupid. They probably sold more than the 267, so I would say that they're two to three star rarity. But like, I don't know. I saw mine on eBay for like 80 bucks, and I was like, I got some good shit. So what? <laughs> Look at my third monitor. First thing I see is this. <laughs> she said that like the second we got here. What? Well, I said that a while ago. Eleven twenty. We got here. But why? I said that on like the way up the mountain. That was like an hour ago. It sent when we got here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, Holly. But, um, yeah. The fact that this thing can go off for AM, FM is just awesome. It oh, it's just, it's, it's mwah. That for years I've been like, I want an AM, FM scanner that goes off for, with, like, sirens. The ASI failed to provide that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, the Spark has one, but it's literally a freaking Windows 98. Windows 98 chime when it activates for alerts. It's literally test alert. Test every alert. Every test fucking alert. Will you fucking stop with your stupid DMOs? W D O N. You. <laughs> Anyways. You just kicked the fuck out. Wait, what? 
It's lurking. You just fucking vibrated. Excuse me for a minute, would you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Among us! Among us! Among us! Alright. Yeah, she was the imposter on my account in Nisak the last week. <laughs> Literally. Among us! Among us! Among us! <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah, um, there is one feature that I wanted to get to, and that's the scanning frequencies function because uh, yeah there's actually a ham radio station that we're picking up so why don't we get to that fuck shit with the alarms but you could get that <laughs> also side note it has atomic time mm -hmm. so yeah i don't know when it like does starts doing atomic time like it just will do it randomly you gotta like tune to a certain station or something no it, like it'll just do it on its own oh really i'm like okay <laughs> what the fuck what the fuck is this? What the f- Mitchell, what the f- This thing looks- uh, What is it, uh, It's another marine radio. Why do marine I'm censor- I'm censoring this out, by the way, but that's- <laughs> That's limper the- Ew. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but, um, yeah, why don't we get into the scanning? So, um, let's turn it on. And we're- up. Uh, we're gonna go to, uh, um, ham mode. And I'm going to go over here really quick because I did this with the 365 CRS and it worked brilliantly. Um, so let's test it out, see if it detects the frequency. Scanning frequency. Um, I think it's, uh, wait, what's the frequency on this? 145190. Okay. 145190. Tremendous amount of pay torches down 221. That's ham radio on it. Even Gilbert's down yonder, she got closer. <laughs> and, uh, it's, uh, it's nice to hear that you're able to, uh, to continue what your friend was doing there. I know! That's what I said on the 365 review. And I'm going to get out of here and say 73 to everyone. You got throat cancer, man. You of course, Craig Gardner's what don't point out in any way. And have a, as Chet says, make yourself a wonderful day because that is reality. We make our choices in that. He, he's well what correct, is don't man. AA but ham frequencies? <laughs> yes. KD4 TPC. And I've been a bad example because I've not done that to the new hams. Catch y'all later. The new hams. Oh. <laughs> Snark, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's the scanning frequencies on this thing. So, uh, yeah, there's obviously a ton more features on this thing, but uh, yeah, we don't want to. Past the 45 minute limit, speaking of which, where I mean, are we at? They're all pretty basic anyway. It's just like, <laughs> it's got an alarm. Wow. Well, we're, we're doing pretty good so far. Oh, this is the same radio, and um, you'll see in one of his EAS comps that I was holding like this to get a. Yes, that was uh, from 88.5 or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Because you can only pick it up if I hold it up. Yeah. <laughs> the powers of WFDD in Winston Salem, North Carolina. Thank you, Winston Salem. A fun fact, I can't pick up WXL42 no more. Sad. It is sad. It's a sad day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways. <laughs> yes, but uh, yeah, why don't we get into the next feature on it, and uh, I believe we need to do the speaker quality on it, so let's yeah. get to it. Okay, the speaker quality on the unit in Bearcat, BC370, CRS, so let's uh, switch to weather. Turn it on. Uh oh. I'm concerned. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'm gonna run for the door tonight! He's hiding from the rubbing snail. 
snails on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, running snail. A running snail is genius because they're like, they show the graphic of the woman running from the tornado when that's not where you're supposed to do it. Hey, they say prepare before weather strikes. You know, the fucking tornado's already there. Maybe she's like looking for shelter. Or, but no, I think she's just running away from it. And you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good, good job running so Good example. That's good job running guy. Oh, I thought that was a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blind. That's a you're wearing glasses, bro! I'm still blind. Bro, you're both wearing glasses and she can see that from a mile away. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, you fucking ants. Piss <laughs> off. Oh, I killed it. Suffered. Yeah. <laughs> Die, bitch. <laughs> I mean, what? Will you stop with your goddamn DMOs? Um. Anyways, um, the speaker quality. Let's get to it. Oh yeah, it has like a shit ton of operating on a frequency of one sixty two point five two five megahertz. This transmitter is serving the foothills and southern Piedmont of North Carolina. The current time is 11.59 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. These are the 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time observations for the Charlotte metropolitan area on Friday, April 16th at Charlotte Douglas International Airport. So, I mean, the speaker's obviously good. I, it's, I think it's good, but it's not... When it's at max volume, it degrades it it's rapidly. <laughs> well, I mean, it's 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 50 50. Let's give it that because it's it, the same thing on the 360 CR, the 365 CRS. Because if I buried. look, um, it's buried in the sea of radios from seasons 10 and 11, except this. I'm gonna try to fix that, y'all. Well, until then, it's yours. Mm -hmm. So yeah, why don't we get into the next feature, and that would be the reception. <laughs> Okay, the reception on the unit in Bearcat BC 370 CRS. So. 55 degrees. It was mostly sunny. That's Bristol. Oh, looks like it's receiving atomic time. It has a little satellite dish. Yep, satellite dish. Wireless. That's not wireless. Fuck you, Nicholas. That's not wireless. <laughs> That's not wireless. <laughs> this is WXL 56. That sounds very raspy all the time. That's not wireless. No. What the fuck? That's wireless. He don't like wireless. <laughs> He don't like it. The pressure was 29.96 inches and steady. At Charlotte, it was mostly sunny, partly cloudy. Those in the lower 40s. A chance of rain in the afternoon. Highs in the four below normal. You should check out all the other channels. <laughs> what? Wait, what? The many more channels it has that it doesn't need. All right, let's see. What the fuck? What the shit? What the balls? What the? F <laughs> Why does it have eight through ten? It's channels eight, nine, and ten. They don't exist. Dude, it's literally the same shit as the walkie-talkies on Cobras because they have ten channels. Ooh. It's not as bad as the Motorola, though. The Motorola, uh, walkie-talkie. Because that has, like, 13 <laughs> weather bands. What? What? What, 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 what? Oh. Oh, hey, yeah, guess what? What? Oh, yeah. From last, from last Just visit. It, like... From the last visit. There's the cross truck now. And here it was in January. Remember that There's season? Snow on the ground. Season eight and nine, it still made it through. That was hell. It's making old car noises now. It has over a hundred thousand miles. It's starting to <laughs> it's oh, getting old. It is a hundred K from driving down here. Well, 
Jesus! Since the last time. No, not since last time. No, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Bruh. Imagine that. All right, so yeah. let's uh, let's go. I'm gonna go outside. I don't know about you guys. Okay. It's chilly as shit, but I'm going outside to do the reception. Should we bring? I saw it. Don't worry about it. I literally put it near your bag. Oh, by the way, I, I reviewed it. The reception was good. And uh, the DXing capabilities was pretty much good, too. <laughs> Not at my house! <laughs> it's good here! I mean, I was able to get WXJ20 on that thing. The one morning. Yeah, my... Not at my house. How come yours doesn't store alerts? There's no alerts on there. <laughs> oh. It, it, it got reset. Oh. Alright, let's go. Okay, we're outside with less than 14 minutes to go, so, uh, let's get to it. This is a NASCAR race. <laughs> I mean, they use these for scanners. Yeah? No. Um. Yeah, it's not bad. With a temperature of 52 at Bristol and 55 at Roanoke. Ooh, Bristol! It was partly sunny. Tonight, yeah. cloudy. Lows in the WXL upper 70. West winds around 5 miles an hour, becoming north around 5 miles an hour after midnight. That's really clear for here because that's your primary station in Denver. A chance of rain in the east at 5 miles an hour. Wireless. The pressure was 29.96 inches and rising. Oh, it's getting bars here for the atomic time. It's getting it clearly. The temperature I don't think you noticed that. Degrees. In Monroe, it was sunny. Jefferson, the high was 38 and the low 32. Marshall, the high was 64 and the low 30. <laughs> I think I hear something. God damn it! <laughs> Nothing. On channel 5 at least. Or, no, I'm sorry, channel 6! Monday night, mostly clear. Yeah. Lows in the mid 40s. Tuesday, mostly sunny in the morning, then be Okay, the reception out here is good, but indoors it's mess, so uh, what should it be? Three out of five. So in between, eh, basically. Four out of five, because you picked up Bristol nice and clear. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, the reception on this thing is great. And it all really depends on the antenna you get to, but like still, it's, it's pretty damn good. It's aftermarket. And we still got some minutes to spare, so yeah. Let's get do it to it with the next feature, and that's the AM FM capabilities. Okay, the AM FM capabilities on the Uted and Bearcat BC370 CRS. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get to it. Um, okay. Jesus even taught us to pray. <laughs> Jesus even taught us to pray. <laughs> Oh my god, that was great. That was great. No pun no pun intended. No pun intended. The Bible says God will continually I know. <laughs> Let's do that liberal station. Yeah. What we are left with this morning. Taylor, the police chief Let's see the liberal station. Are they going to talk about the turtles again? The turtles. I'm rooting for... What? I'm rooting for, I'm rooting for the turtles. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the freaking frogs gay! They turn the fucking frogs gay. Where's the frog? In the lake! They're gay! Oh my god! <laughs> what frogs? <laughs> They're actually... There's actually some frogs living in that creek. Treatment. I have no at least two we victims got 10 minutes left. Um, least. how do I switch the bands? Oh, wait. <laughs> it's AM, FM is not good. No, no, it's AM is not good. <laughs> I can't even pick up yeah, 1470. I think I need to put a new wire here. But yeah, it's bad. Well, that does it. It's crap. It's crap because you need to put your own damn wire. Yeah. Like Uden was thinking, honestly. Well, well, um, yeah. Safe to say we're definitely gonna finish it in under 10 minutes because, uh, yeah. 
I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Film me doing it. Fuck. God damn it, That's Mitchell. That's a starfish. What are you, Patrick Star? <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. Um. All right. <laughs> what you doing, ma? What are you? God damn it. What? God fucking hell. You can't escape. <laughs> we are wasting time. White. <laughs> Bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus taught us to pray. Jesus, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Radio. No, that's the WX five hundred. No, but it doesn't WRP work. WRP five hundred. It doesn't work. No, the WRP five hundred is the Jesus Radio. We got time. Because it doesn't exist. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> what? 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 Mitchell, what? I can't believe I just said that. Said what? I was saying that the WRP 500 is the Jesus radio. Because it doesn't. Oh, oh. Oh. I'm not. I, I, Fuck. I respect religion. Uh, okay. okay. Time to jump. Please cut no, that out. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways. Um, let's get to the build quality on the unit in Bearcat BC 370 CRS. I had a loopy. Thanks for leaving your ter marking your territory, bitch. My DNA. <laughs> All right. Uh. Okay, so the build quality. <laughs> The, 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 the build quality on the unit in Bearcat BC370 CRS. So, uh, first impressions, this is an aftermarket antenna, so it doesn't count with the build quality. So, uh, um, let's take a quick look. So, the displays look good. The body itself looks okay. It looks durable enough for a desktop radio. It doesn't look like the type of radio that would get sun bleached like the first alerts. No, it wouldn't get sun bleached. Because it's, it's space gray, and I, I love that color. I absolutely love that color on this thing. They saw the iPhones, and they are like, we need, to that. we need to copy them. <laughs> but yeah, the, the space gray combining with the chrome buttons and knobs for the squelch and volume, it just it blends in so well along with the power button, too. Plus that red lettering for Bearcat and All Hazard. The two displays, even though they're in orange, it still looks good because of that black faceplate. Um, they're pretty bright for orange backlights. Oh yeah. They're the, pretty bright. Same thing with the, uh, oh God, the Bristol wind has returned here. It's cold. <laughs> um, here, let's uh, let's go over here so the wind is blocked partially. So, uh, I said partially, but uh, yeah. Other than that, the build quality of this thing feels, it feels pretty heavy. Um, what is going on? Oh, WDFA. <laughs> DMO, I don't give a sh. What the fuck am I? On? Why am I on cell data? I'm at home with Wi Fi. Can it not pick it up from here? It, I don't no think one so. at and What a piece of shit. Um, but yeah. One thing I do like for nostalgia is the old Noah logo. Oh, yeah, that's the old one. Yeah, that is the old one. <laughs> but, um, and it came out in 2017. What the hell, you <laughs> I think it did, I'm not sure, but, um... In the 2000s, if it's 2000s, I call that new. <laughs> it is 2000s, but, um, yeah. um... The bottom of the radio, of course, there's a blemish here, from, that's from just regular sticker residue, but, um... The bottom of the radio looks to be in good shape. The AM antenna is okay. Headphone jack, alert, plus and minus. Um... Other than that, it feels very sturdy. And I think this is a screw for the antenna to be loose. I think. But um, it feels really heavy and nice and sturdy, but yeah, it's good. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. So I'm calling the build quality, um, you know what? S. Yeah, S. S rank, baby. S rank. It's an S rank. Okay, the final thoughts on the unit in Bearcat BC370 CRS. And it, it would appear that I have beaten the challenge. Not yet. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> shit. All right, anyways, um, yeah. 
The, the unit in Bearcat BC370 CRS is one of those scanners that if you see one, you just gotta get one. Not only are these things rare, it has a lot of features on it. And, and capabilities. And oh yeah. It's, it's sexy. <laughs> it's no. good. It is a sexy radio, except for how it looks like a banana ass. Yeah. <laughs> a roof tile looking ass. This is a roof tile. <laughs> Anyways, um, the build quality on this thing, it's okay. Um, it's S rank, obviously, but uh, the whole radio in itself is okay to use. Not just okay. It's, it's great. It's superior. No, the only thing that's okay is the fucking Cobra. Yeah. The versatility well, okay. is okay. The only downside with this one is the AM. Yeah, the AM is crap, but then again, you have a small antenna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so if I put a bigger wire on it, it would be a lot better, but still. Oh. Oh, uh, real uh, quick thing. Real quick thing about the... Since we got some time to spare, and I already covered the final thoughts of it, because let's be honest, if you see one of these things, you need to buy one immediately. They are getting harder and harder to find because ever since Uniden discontinued these things, they've been getting more rare. So, yeah. I remember when Nicholas first announced its, its existence as a four star, I went on eBay and there were like five of them, six of them. That's yeah, we never knew this one. thing existed until just recently, like this a month one, ago. This one that I have, it was the last one that I found on eBay in a, like a good month. <laughs> like, they're not... They're not common. Not common. They're they're getting, so like, and now that there's going to be a rating reviews episode and it showcases the AM FM capabilities, mm -hmm. black and silver, but modern. Yes. <laughs> Fun fact, um, to say the least, if I'm not mistaken, judging by how that is a four star listing and how the 12 dash was, yeah, and how the 12 dash 253 was a four star listing before we knew it existed. This falls in that same category as the 253, mm -hmm. which, by the way, was episode 150, thanks to y'all. Epic. Nice. And we just had the 100th episode, like, what, three months ago? God. Holy crap. But, uh, yeah. We need to calm down. Fun fact, um, another fun... I don't fun... need to calm down. You need to, I calm, need to down. calm down. You both need to calm down. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Uh. <laughs> no, just say it. Just we know. Say it. Okay. Say it. Most of the radios from seasons eight, eight nine, to eleven are yours. Exactly. I have a problem. <laughs> you do, including this one. And I'm giving you another. But um, yeah. Other than that, the unit in Bearcat BC370 CRS is a great scanner and I would recommend it absolutely if you can find one of these go right for it so in conclusion it's a great radio buy it if you find it yeah buy and I'm it giving it, it back to you sir because we are finally done so thank you all for watching be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe for future videos like this as the fucking crows fly over us as we do the exit of this video so That's yeah ominous. yeah Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for future videos like this. Also subscribe to The Siren Geek slash The EAS Geek and MontyCat33 slash BenjiCat33. Both their Siren and EAS channels will be in the description below, so yeah. With the timestamps? Yes, with the timestamps, with the Please. description. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to add it to every episode now. From season 1 to 11, I'm going to add it. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Easy access. But, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. This is Clay Ranger 143 signing out along with the EAS Geek and Benji Cat 33. And I beat the challenge because we got 40 seconds. Wow! All right. We'll see you in season number 11. Bye bye. You beat it. <laughs> we did it. Was that the fastest review ever other than the Zenith, which was just a joke radio, honestly? <laughs> no, the fastest review was nine minutes. Really? Really? What was that? The realistic 12-140. It was literally a 1050 hertz piece of wooden grained crap. Uh, Season five? Uh, yeah. Uh, Ladies first, person second, and I'm last. <laughs>